Welcome back into Wake Up America. Rob Finnerty, Rick Grinnell with you here. Uh, the House impeachment inquiry starts next week with the very first hearing. It'll happen on September the 28th. I uh, want to get reaction and welcome in Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Uh, Senator, great to have you on this morning. It's good to see you. Um, when this impeachment inquiry you, was launched a week ago today, you stated, and this is a quote, my big fear remains that at some point you trivialize this, you make it routine, suddenly it becomes a weapon or a tool routinely used by a political party against someone from the other party in power. Now, that makes sense. They did it to Donald Trump twice. Um, why roll right. over, though, and have that sort of initial reaction and not allow the House to sort of move forward with the process of presenting evidence and see if there's really something there, which it seems like there is? Yeah, there's... Yeah, so two separate things. The first is the process of impeachment. Impeachment inquiry and impeachment proceedings are two different things. And the reason why the House is pursuing the inquiry it's because they feel they can get answers to their questions faster than they can just for regular you know, subpoenas from Congress that sometimes are ignored. So I most certainly think that there are things that you need answers to. In particular, there's enough evidence there. There's certainly enough smoke for us to try to determine whether there's fire. And if, in fact, Biden has done nothing wrong, as he claims, he should be welcoming this inquiry, be forthcoming and say, look, here's the proof that my son never paid any of my expenses from the money that they made off these deals that make no sense and that no one else in the world would get. So that's one thing. My, my bigger point is this, you know, Donald Trump was impeached while he was president, frankly, for with far less evidence than what this inquiry has already produced. And then he was impeached the second time when he was out of office. Right. And so my fear now is that we trivialize that, that now impeachment, something that's really an extraordinary measure, now becomes a normal thing that parties do to each other. We turn into Peru. But the inquiry piece of it is different. I mean, the inquiry is not a proceeding. It is we want to discover evidence, and they're simply using a, a, an impeachment. But Senator, let, let me let me, just, let me let me jump evidence. in. So you you've run for president before. Um, typically, what a candidate will do is launch an exploratory committee. And now it's never happened before. A candidate's never launched an exploratory committee and then not move forward with running for president. This inquiry, I think we can both agree, is likely headed toward impeachment, and it does seem like there is enough evidence to go after not Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, Miranda Devine in the New York Post a couple of days ago. Forget about the bank records, shell companies, SEC complaints, sworn testimony, IRS whistleblower statements, FBI informant files, emails, texts, WhatsApp messages, photos, speaker phone calls, voicemails, White House visitor logs, Air Force Two travel logs, and Joe's fake email addresses. Senator, how is there not enough there? I think right now it just comes down to making this palatable and understanding to the American people. Well, I'm going off exactly and directly what the, the people handling this in the House have told me personally. And that is that they view this as an opportunity to gain access to evidence and information that they believe is there, but they can't gain access to through the normal congressional oversight. So now they're going to issue subpoenas as part of this inquiry. They'll get access to that information faster as a result of the fact that it's an impeachment inquiry. And then if, in fact, the evidence is there, the evidence is there. Look, impeachment exists for a reason. And I'm not saying it should never be used. I'm just saying, again, my concern remains that now this has become a weapon that both sides are going to use against each other. I'd prefer to just beat Joe Biden at the ballot box in November. But if there's evidence, you can't ignore it. They have to produce it. They're working on producing it. And that's why they're doing this inquiry. So if this is a, this is a process to produce the evidence that you've described and outline it very clearly, yeah. um, then, I, then I think that, that, that that's fine. So you me. support that, sir? Um, but, would you but support I think you have them? to have the evidence. Would you support the House moving forward with full impeachment vote on the floor? Well, we have to see what all the evidence is that's out there. I certainly think there's enough evidence now to justify an inquiry to find out more. For example, did Hunter Biden, with the money he made from all these deals, was he paying bills on behalf of Joe Biden? The only way to prove that is to gain access to the bank records and, or, or to the bills right. and show that, in fact, I mean, that basically is income. And, and if that is the case, they don't have access to that now. If the inquiry gives them access to that, that's a different deal. Now we're talking about income that wasn't – taxes weren't paid on it and all sorts of other activity that is criminal in nature and I think rises to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors, which is the, which is the, uh, which is the standard in our Constitution. But they have to produce that evidence. They don't have it today. They believe it's there. And by the way, if it isn't there, Joe Biden should be the first one out there saying, I'm going to give you guys everything voluntarily so we can put this behind us and, we can, and I can expose you guys for, for telling lies about me. He hasn't done that. They haven't done that. Instead, they're fighting it and they're criticizing it and they're fighting it as a political war. So we'll see what they produce. They're pretty confident that they're on the right track. And ultimately, the evidence will decide whether an impeachment process is justified or not. Senator, this is Rick Renell. We have to wrap here very quickly. But I, are you hearing from Democratic colleagues that they're concerned about this? Or is this completely just in the partisan realm? 
Well, I don't think it's completely in the partisan realm. I, I don't think Democratic colleagues would confide that in us. But you've seen the reports out there. I think there's a couple things they're concerned about. I mean, this border catastrophe is something that now even liberal cities are revolting against. They've got problems, obviously, with his performance. I mean, Biden on a regular basis does things that, frankly, yeah. are embarrassing to the country. And I think create real legitimate questions about his capabilities. They're watching all of this stuff. They're seeing yeah. all of this. So these concerns are definitely there. You're seeing them being reported on. They're not voicing it to us. But, you know, if the guy's not going to step aside, there's not much they can do, I imagine. Great point. Yeah. Uh, Senator, great to have Thank you on you so this much. morning. We appreciate it. Florida Senator Marco Rubio joining us here on Wake Thank Up you. America. Great to see the Senator. Uh, stay